Hello, Frank Strayer here, FedgeLightGraphics.webs.com. Let me tell you, my office sits in the corner of the house and it's surrounded by plywood, so it's extremely hot in here, even with three fans going. Ugh. Anyway. I received a message recently about uh, an important issue of how to create a, a material file for the object file that I used as a 3D template for uh, designing things in Second Life for your avatars. And um, I didn't really cover that too well in the t-shirt tutorial. So um, basically here goes nothing. I'm going to try to explain this to you as best as I can. Okay, what I did was I asked uh, as to how I made my uh, avatar look so crisp with everything, with all of the templates and stuff that was on it. And here's the reason why. Robin Wood templates uh, were sized at 512 by 512 uh, width and height in pixels. And the problem I had with that was that they were too small. So when I uploaded them and I tried to use designing uh, methods to create, start creating all the clothes and stuff, and you know all that jazz, it, it didn't come out too clear at all. And when I uploaded it to Second Life, it, I just didn't like the the quality of it was too low. And I'm like, no, I, uh, no. Uh, so here's what I did. I, I spent some time contemplating on this. Okay. And I, I, I figured out, well, the file size may be too small. So I looked at it and go, 512 by 512, okay. What would be double that? 512 plus 512 equals 1024. So 1024 by tw 1024 would be, ha would be twice its size. So I went ahead and did that. I went ahead and to Photoshop, opened up a new file that said 1024 by 1024. Then opened up the original template file that was 512 by 512, copied and pasted it into the 1024 by 1024 file, and just scaled it from corner to corner. I didn't do anything special. I didn't try to uh, restructure the quality or anything like that. I just stretched it out from corner to corner, making it 1024 by 1024 and then saving the originals on top of that and when I did that um, naturally when I uploaded the object file that I got from Second Life I decided to um, upload that uh, upload the templates that I resized on, onto the object file and lo and behold everything was extra quality in there crisp clear perfect and that's actually what you need when you're designing something so you know go ahead and do that you know and try to figure out a way to make the size twice its size 1024 by 1024 when you do that it will look a lot better trust me okay so moving forward uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own um, uh, material file basically your .mtl file that goes with your object file .obj file so here we go uh, first off we're gonna actually I'm gonna go ahead and uh, exit this one I'm gonna start over I actually practiced a little just to make sure I had everything right for you guys and well yeah. So anyway, I'm going to hit new and just for the fun of it, US paper size. And then we're going to click 3D. Okay. And okay, this is what I have here. I have my own folder that I labeled uh, 3D templates just for fun um, and placed it on my desktop basically. So. Uh, here's what everybody's having a problem with. Uh, they have the, the actual 
templates and then they have the OBJ file but they don't have the material so when they go in they have to um, put the material on the object before they could start uh, designing things with the templates um, so the material file will remedy that problem so every time you upload the OBJ excuse me um, the material file it, the uh, Photoshop will automatically search for the material file that goes with the object file and you won't ever have that problem it'll just be there and you won't have you won't ever have to worry about it so um, to start off we're going to click the LBJ and this is the problem that you guys have I'm sure um, you can message me and correct me if I'm wrong um, but when you upload it everything's just gray and when you click on a diffuse texture map it's blank so what we want to do I guess we're going to start with the head and I'm going to open up the new file and say all formats click on the material head that's what you get here you want to click on like the selection tool and you want to select the entire document then edit or control C copy and edit paste or control V and click X and when you hit X on this it will ask you if you want to save it you do want to click yes because then that will update the object file and as you can see and then I hit and as you can see it's nice and crisp and clear because the file is double in size and it's loaded perfectly onto the head moving on to the upper body upper body selection tool, select the entire document control C select the blank control V X X yes That's loaded. Put it out here. Click on lower body. Open lower body. Selection tool. Oh yeah. <laughs> Copy. Control C. Control V or edit paste X and X. Yes. Okay, now the entire thing is loaded. And it's it as you can see it's like one of the same files I worked with before, so all that good jazz. Uh, since my t-shirt tutorial, I want to add that I've <coughs> updated my uh, template files. I switched them from Robinwood over to CMFF, which has the same 1024 by 1024 files. They're just a little more integrated in detail. Um, if you want, I could send you the entire all design outfits uh, templates for the uh, CMF, CMFF designs. Uh, all you have to do is email me at frankstrayer at hotmail.com and let me know you want some of these templates and I'll send you the zip file form. Um, so don't be afraid or don't hesitate if you need extra help. Um, email me. Uh, moving forward um, so what you want to do um, is you want to have the material file so you can just upload you know and everything will be there 
and you don't want to have to keep going in and copy and pasting all of the material files all over again and again and again each time you want to create something so my job in creating these tutorials is taking the headache out of the, these um, projects and making it fun for you guys so uh, moving forward you want to click the 3D tab again just like as if you were going to upload or import and instead of importing this time we're going to export and um, let's see you want to make sure you you hit the wavefront obj files right and you click the same obj file that you're working with and you want to override it do you want to replace yes you actually do original formats okay what's it's going to do is it's going to replace the other ones with um, actual photoshop psd files and the cool thing about it is that Photoshop automatically creates its own material file in the same folder that you put the OBJ file in. So there you go. You've got OBJ and then you've got the dot material file. So, and now that you have these PSD files, you no longer need the uh, JPEG files. So, control, if you hold control and click on each one of these, it'll select certain ones instead of just one at a time a little trick that I've learned and this is for anything um, in, in uh, Windows 7 I believe. So all three of those are selected by holding control and clicking uh, individual files. It's a little shortcut that I learned. Uh, delete. Or even hitting the delete button will do the same thing. Uh, so now you have the object file, the new material that it comes with, and the new material file that it comes with, and the new texture um, settings that it comes with um, for the material file. So, hit X on this because we're done with this, and to make sure that it works, we're going to hit File, New, um, US Paper again, just for fun. And to make sure it works, we're going to hit 3D new layer uh, OBJ from the uh, 3D templates folder and there you have it uh, everything's loaded correctly and you can go in it's actually a lot easier than you thought it was huh so <laughs> uh, there you guys go I hope that takes the headache out of everything for you and uh, if there's anything else that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to message me. Or like I said, email me, frankstrayer at hotmail.com. You can also get my information, uh, the rest of my information, as a matter of fact, at uh, fedslightgraphics.webs.com. Thanks again, and uh, I hope to be making more uh, useful tutorials for you guys soon. Take care.